Okay, so good evening everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new stream of Final Fantasy XIV. Tonight we'll get the chance to do a new dungeon, Bardem's Metal, after completing a few quests here. And afterward we're gonna continue the main quest storyline here in the Azim Steps. So yeah, but before that, we're actually gonna warm up a little with a little random trial, so let's do this. I've actually been liking this zone so far, contrary to what we had in Yanxia. Even the side quests were a complete disappointment there, but here, I like it. We get to learn quite a bit about the Xion, so that's actually really interesting. Yeah, also from the, I suppose, the fanfest, we got some pretty interesting information coming in, namely the name of the next expansion, which would be Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. I don't know quite a lot about it because I, namely, I don't want to spoil myself about this expansion right now. <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, shouldn't take too long for that trial. We needed to talk to Dorbay for another quest as well. Ah, one of the newcomers. Welcome, I spoke with Lise. I made her to help the children gather fuel for the cook fires. I trust it will be a good experience for all. For you too, perhaps. Seek them in south, cross the bridge. Okay. That seems simple enough. Okay, right here, the heart of nations. Ew. I'd rather not move through that particular part. Got a bunch of purple here. I had to slay a few of them for a quest from one of the villagers. There she is. Oh, Harn, are you here to help too? Great, so I suppose Dorbe told you that the children and I are gathering fuel for the fires, did he? It'll, it'll need to be dried before they can burn it, of course. You, um, you don't understand what we're here for, right? Only some people can be a bit squeamish about this sort of stuff. Then again, you've never minded getting your hands dirty, have you? Anyway, we're going to, we're trying to get four piles each. Good luck, and keep an eye on the children while you're at it, eh? Yeah, sending children at this place actually seems kind of dangerous. That's a Mulburn Tuft. That sounds ominous. Oh, sounds like the queues tonight aren't so great. Oh well. Reserve Moil Boys. How do you do? Hmm. Well, he seems okay, at least. Oyster Small Boy. Traveler, I will not use to you. I shall find three times as much dung as you, at least. Oh, that's why she meant about getting squeamish. This is not the first time I've had to get her dong, unfortunately. <laughs> Bright eyed mall girl. Huh. Oh, you are Lee's friend. Are you here to help us too? I always find it weird when I find those. Uh, Dark skilled Xeon, although that seems to be the norm rather than the ex exception. I cannot seem to find any dung here, maybe somewhere else. Auburn Tough, huh? That's a cute name for dung. Did we miss anything over here? We've got a hunt target here, Aswang. Too dangerous for us, unfortunately. Not that I would attempt it without a group. Can't wait to get uh, a link shell for that. Fortunately, these are by invitation only. There we go. 
Nothing a girl likes better than receiving dung. Well, have you found your share yet? Sure did. Good work! I hope you took the time to talk to the children while you were at it. I sure did. Lise, Lise, look how much dung we have! Wow, I'm impressed. I thought we'd gathered a lot, but it looks like we'll have to admit defeat. Dorbe will be happy we found enough. Not just Dorbe. Now we can continue making cheese. Now that I was worried, it was easier when we were living near that forest, but dung works just as well as wood. I heard them all move from place to place. That the gods tell you where to go. That must be hard on you all. Arn? I do not understand. Why is it hard? It is better for the animals to move, to have more food and uh, to land, to eat and land to roam. To stay in one place is harder, no? From the heavens comes the rain which nourishes the soil. From the soil comes the grass which nourishes the beasts. And from the beasts comes the flesh which nourishes the xela. Ours is the soil of one and all. They are well trained, but you westerners are like the domans. You live in the same place, in villages, and all the villages in one place are part of a nation, yes? He and talks about nations sometimes. When he was injured, he spoke of Doma in his sleep, but I did not understand his words. Whenever I ask him about Doma, he just smiles and looks to the south. It reminds me of my mother when she waits for my father to return from a long journey, but he and will not wait any longer, will he? Because he, you, you came for him. To take him back, because his nation is more important. Aww. Um, I'm not sure how to answer this. Nation is a place, I suppose. A place. And the people in it. And maybe things too. But more than that, it's the history, the traditions, the words, the stories we tell ourselves and our children. Everything that came before and everything that comes after. The place we were born is part of who we are. We carry it with us. No matter where we go, where, whatever we become, that part remains. That link to our fathers and their fathers before them. It's, it's not important to everyone, I suppose. But that's fine. And it's important to Ian and to me. Some call them old fools for listening to the Elder Gods, but it is our way, our pride, our nation. Something like that, something precious that you and others share. But we can talk about it later. It's time to go home, Dorbe is waiting. Kinda skip something. I'll stay with the children. Why not go and let Serena know how we got, uh, we got on? Ah. Well, too bad. Let's rejoin. That reminds me, there's something I forgot if you'll just give me a second. Okay, the shameless plug is out of the way, let's continue. You apologize for making you sit through that. Unfortunately, it seems I got started a little early. Well, things happen. And it's raining. This zone isn't so cool when it's raining. Eh. 
At least it doesn't make anything blurry like in my Skyrim series. Ugh. That was annoying. Well, here she is. Welcome back, Hard. Did you speak with Dorbay? Well, well. Then you will forgive me if I ask you to wash your hands. I shall pour you a cup of milk tea in the meantime. The meal is almost ready, so we should summon he and Ingozetsu. Girls' night under the stars, then. She needed the rest. To come so far and carry so much. Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon. Why am I not surprised? Not troubled by her old wounds, I see. <laughs> Nor you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. Going tough on the old dude, eh? You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victory still far exceed mine. Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? I feared I would not see you again. Male bonding time, huh? A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely. Without regret would I have traded it for our people's amnesty had it been their will. Instead, they have called for the sword. And so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken, I can but carve a path forward. Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? You never showed it when I used to spar. How you cried when you lost! Ah, oh, skipped something Venus again. little Master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. Ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. There will be opportunity enough for putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character.
mission, was it? <laughs> no secrets between comrades, eh? Quite right. Which makes me think you should join us next time. I dare say you have a secret of two of your own to share. Ah, uh, but I'm mute. So yeah, unfortunately it doesn't seem like tonight will be the time for a trial. I'm gonna try to find the one that uh, we actually missed. I think that's the one here. How you cried when you lost, and when your mother tried to comfort you, and when you inevitably came to came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. Ah, uh, well. Let's see what they've got. Mm -hmm. That was just what I needed. Was the food to your liking? Good, good. A new beginning lies beyond the horizon. We have but seize it with our own head hands. Two hands, man. Well, my friends, I for one am full of vim and vigor. I trust you feel the same. Then, the, what better time than now to undertake our trial and become full fledged warriors of the Maul? So, Doman Longsword, eh? Greatsword 2. Well, trial before the trial. Hian is ready to become a warrior of the steppe. Now then, Serena. If you would tell us of the trial we must undertake that we might participate in the Nadam. Ah, yes, as I mentioned before, to be recognized as warriors of the steppe, one must follow in the footsteps of the legendary warrior Bardem. He embarked on a great pilgrimage, eschewing cart and horse, and walked for many moms until he came to a holy place, thereafter named Bardem's Medal. There, at the altar, as he did, you must pray. The altar lies deep within the breeding grounds of the Yol. To complete your trial, you must tame one. Only then will your trial be complete. Tame's not so much as subdue, huh? Fair enough. And where is the entrance to Bardem's Metal? You must journey far, far to the west beyond the Chakazo, where lies the bones of a great and wise woman. Beyond the ruins of Seol Ain, Hidden within the mountains is an arrow pass. Follow it, and you will come to Bardem's Metal. Sounds to me like it'll, it'll be a trial just getting to the trial. More than you may know, on the eve of the Nadam, many strive to improve their fortunes, some by abducting or enslaving the warriors of other tribes. Be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. Then again, who would steal warriors from the mall? They're supposedly the least favored clans of them all. Ah, what grim expressions you wear while nodding so powerfully. Warriors such as you are not like to fall in route to a mere rite of passage. We shall proceed with all due caution, yes, but let's not worry over much. We will overcome this trial, and the next, and the next, until we stand triumphant. That is all there is to it, no? With me, my friends. To the west. To Barnum's Meadow. And your headphone is making me feel a little awkward. I'm kind of hearing my voice kind of in echo. Wait, Hien! Oh dear, I knew I would forget. Here, take these whistles. Once tamed, your y'all will hearken to their call. Thanks, we'll try them out once we finish the trial. Let's catch up to Ian and Gusetsu. As usual, 
The men go ahead, the women stay behind, and get the critical piece of information. Ah, such is the way. Sounds like we're meeting pretty close by, I'm guessing we're gonna be waylaid a few times. But what you got? We still have a long way to go, but I think I can see that monument Serena talked about. I don't. Unless it's that. I don't see he in Orgosetsu though. We should hurry. Those giant turtle things. They still creep me out. What then now? Hey, I don't know about you, but I can shake the feeling someone's watching us. Serena did warn us about tribes that kidnap warriors to make them fight for them. Something tells me we're about to meet them. You don't say. The mere fact that he mentioned it pretty much makes it a dead giveaway. Okay, ambush time. Tending watch, eh? Knew it. Alright then. Ew. That's a lot of people. Oh, this one's a white mage. We can't have that. Come on. A voodoo gun warrior, huh? These are unusually tough for uh, quest mobs. Well, that won't be a concern anymore. That must be the monument that we're talking about. Ah! Oh. I see we weren't the only one to be waylaid. Guess we got the rear guard. Hey there, buddy. Is that the best you can do? Come, villains, come at me! They're wearing yellow. I've seen their clothes somewhere before. Ah, oh, there you are. As you can see, they left us little choice. I gather you were forced to dispatch a few yourself. So it goes. A few less warriors to face in the bottom, eh? Coil Iron is not much further. That said, I should be surprised if our would-be masters do not try to subdue us one final time. Off we go. Gotta be something about that thing. It's built just so that I feel like they would want us to actually climb it for a sightseeing log or whatnot. Maybe an eater current. Uh. Ah, there they are. Let's do this. Second one, eh? And a white mage to boot. Them be the brakes. <laughs> Gonna be hit by another overpower. The signature warrior move. Rather marauder, technically. Oh, this guy has a lot of health. 
probably makes sense since he's a healer. Or Oniri and Bogudan. Are they working together? That's weird. Well, none of worse for the wear. One person to take down three of them is actually pretty good. Although I've fought worse odds. A Kunchulu. I thought that looked odd. What the heck is that? I'll say. I was pretty happy when I discovered that the Koja were actually a thing in this. Those disembodied head from uh, Final Fantasy VI and whatnot. Tread softly, we are for hollowed ground, and the Kami are restless. Huh, huh, this is it, the real trial. Why are you working out if it's hard? Right, this must be the path that leads to Bardem's medal. They say no foreigner has overcome this trial, but well, there is a first time for everything, no? I suppose so. Ian is ready to undertake the challenge of Bardem's medal. Yol whistle. Oh, we're getting a mount from this. Sweet. Nothing left but to begin then. Complete the trial. We must each pass through Bardem's medal to tame a Yol. How precisely we are to do this, I am not sure. But since countless warriors before us have succeeded, I imagine we'll muddle through somehow. But enough talk. We have an Adam to win. Bardem's medal now accessible. Ain't that nice. Quite frankly, if I cannot convince a large bird to follow me, then what hope do I have with Exela, or my own countrymen for that matter? Yeah. I have stood upon more battlefield than I can count and live to tell the tale. No bird will be my downfall. First the trial, then the Adam, then Doma, then El Amigo. We'll be back home before you know it. Ah. Always so chipper. Anywho. So there we are, Bardem's Medal. Let's do this. So while we were writing... Oh. Why am I surprised? These guys are probably talking spoilers. They're saying that BLU is disappointing, whatever that is. Could be that it's uh, an acronym they're using for Blue Mage and whatnot. Could be a new class in the expansion. New job for 4.5. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Yeah, blue mage. Thanks, guys. spam time. I think we'll be getting an ad. I have a new move I can move. Divine Benison for him. That should help out some. Kinda neat, people are complaining before something is out. It's not like standard internet fare, really. 
Alright. I've barely seen anything of what went down up until now, but who cares? Well then, we are fighting walls. Oh, that's funny. Those walls actually think that we're Sailor. Isn't that cute? Huh? Eye for an eye. Alright, you should be fine. Holy spam! I always forget to activate Cleric Stance, now I look like an idiot. Come on, come on, come on. I was an idiot there. Come on, Dragoon. Ah. Just fine. There we go. Right, hun, let's do this. We can do a divine venison on him, that'll be a start. Well, no matter. Run, healer, run! Garula. So. Distance ourselves to reduce the damage taken if marked. Okay, I got that. Okay, so these things are gonna go mad after there's an earthquake of some sort. And everybody gets stunned, because that's the way that works. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Dragoon keeps getting hit though, and that bothers me. So dead dude. Ugh. We're risking a stampede here.
Damn it. I screwed up. Then again, that's what they get for pulling the head. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that went well. Oh, I remember that, actually. It was a monster that you actually saw in Final Fantasy V, if I'm not mistaken. I remember now, Galura. Of course. Huh? That's new. Well then. Ah, this... holy... Wasn't really paying attention, the holy proved too difficult for my brain power. Had to put up a tetragrammation for this. Ah, such sweet sorrow, friends. At least the thing doesn't pull that much. It makes things really easy for me. Ah, debuff, is it? How do you get so much damage, dude? Good thing though, I'm learning to use an eye for an eye and divine venison now. That should be really great for my white mage creds. How did you? Anything being said while I wasn't looking doesn't look like it. Okay, boss. Pull all players towards center of the room. Ioe appears in the center. Huh? First trial is upon you. Oh my god. Hunter of Bardom. Oh. Second AoE is side based. Huh? First trial overcome. Okay, somebody slapped me. I told her that was the first time I was here. Oh, 
does. Two failures are yours to bear. All will bear something. Three. I'd be behind a uh, shard to dodge. Okay, I was terribly bad, but we still made it. Well, at least they can't uh, complain that I didn't tell them. At least next boss seems simple enough. Huh? Where did that come from? Guess I wasn't really paying attention, huh? Ew. This guy doesn't seem to be using his healing cooldown very often. Not really sure why. He's losing aggro too and getting attacked. for mama Okay, 
So the next of those weird statues look kind of like Birdman, except not really. You catch my meaning. Shavar. That's an odd name. Come on, Han, you can do it. it used to be the shields were the domains of the scholars. Although that's not entirely true, we used to have stone skin. Not so anymore. And really, you usually just cast stone skin at the start and never did it again. Such was life. Cutscenes will be for later. This seems really easy. If the player is marked with a green marker, then he'll be knocked out and he'll want to get back to the middle. Okay, let's do this. Interesting birdie. Wow, that's a heck of a tank buster there. Black Mage isn't doing so well. Huh? Oh. This is never good. Don't look at stuff when you see an eye. Even though that uh, that thing might be a subversion of that. Oh, that's an ab. Owie. Dumb white mage. Lovely. Oh, lightning aspect, are we? Gotta destroy those wings. Center. Oh, 
All right. That's fine. All right. Goodbye. So who did I like? Well, don't have much of a choice. Eh, I still got two commendation despite bogle bungling the, the the second fight, so I suppose I did all right. I still like that zone music. It's interesting. It's different. Going for a scenic shot there. I should have known you'd be the first to make it through. Well, there were five of us. I'm assuming you had no trouble. Good, good. I managed somehow, as you may have guessed. Look, Slyke and then Gusetsu are still in there, though. Nothing for it but to wait then. Yes, ladies beat the men, huh? Because it's obviously a competition. Has to be. So let's have a look. Ah, somebody in chat. Thank you for joining us, Emma. Oh right, I've still got those whistles Serena gave me. Here's yours. I suppose we ought to give them a, a try like she said. Oh my! Up there, look! I think that means we won them over. That one there is yours, right? The other one is mine. Ah! That's an interesting little birdie. So that's that then. We're officially warriors of the step. How about that? Got a coat. Wasn't I supposed to get a white mage item? Oh well. Things happen. So. Let's see. We had some stuff at least. No, that's worse than what I got. Got some breaches. Cotton smalls that I can't use. Boots. This is new though, and better than what I've got. Oh yeah, definitely. That is 63. That one is better. And I have another ring. Let's see. 64, 62. That's way better than what I've got there. Great. 272 of item level. Liz will like very much to know that he and Ngosetsu are alright. You don't think they... No, of course not. He and Ngosetsu will come out any minute now. I suppose we could chat a little while we wait. Oh, so the other day I said to Elise, I said... Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, we're gonna gossip. <laughs> Hmm. 
Mission accomplished. Everything still in one piece? More or less, I. That mountainous monstrosity came as quite a surprise. Who knew that the steppe held such secrets? I see the two of you emerged similarly unscathed. Well then, by my reckoning, there is naught left to prevent us from taking part in the Nardom. I'm actually pretty happy that he and struggled with it as well. <laughs> Huh? Tertiary antagonist, is it? You! Yea, you who have walked Bardom's metal. Newborn warriors of the steppe. Our Han demands an audience. You will come. A Han? Isn't that a Khan? Oh well. I remember those clothes. He's Oronir, isn't he? What should we do? Ordinarily, I would politely decline, but this may be an opportunity to assess their strength. And we do have some time before the Nardom begins. If it all goes to plan, they will be fighting for us soon enough. What say you? Shall we go and greet our comrades-to-be? Of course, that's how it's gonna work. <laughs> Why not? Whatever happens, we shouldn't keep Siren and the others waiting. Let's be ready to make a swift exit, all right? We accept Johan's generous invitation. Lead the way. Not like they were all carrying weapons and would have taken us hostage anyway. Didn't realize we would be teleported there. Two banners. So it's not just Oranir we're dealing with. Ah, oh, that explains the thing I was uh, confused about. Sounds like an alliance or maybe the conquered boat? Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. You conquered Bardem's metal. As warriors of the Mol, I. You were the Han here, yes? Why have you summoned us? Mayhap to propose a joint endeavor? Nay, Doman, we shall not speak as equals. Born of the sun are Oranir, and born of the earth are you. When I learned of trespassers, I bade my warriors take their measure to flay them if they failed. But if by the grace of Azim they should survive their trials and emerge anointed, then bring them hither to pay tribute. Tribute, should it prove satisfactory, shall earn you the favor of the sun. His beloved shall bask in his radiance, and their supplications be duly considered. So you want us to bow down and serve you? What if we don't feel like it? The Defiant will suffer in shadow. It would be an affront to the resplendent Azim himself to refuse this generous offer when by rights you should be condemned. But in lieu of tribute, 
swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. Body and soul, huh? A generous offer granted to but few. Though perchance this is too merciful. I'm seeing a titan hammer there. Hmm. It seems our brothers of the Buddhaga want you. The men only. Like the Borlak and women. Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve one way or another. That much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. No playing around, are we? You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. That stare, huh? You will be given a task. It will be difficult. You will carry it out. When you have accepted this, you may ask me what it is. I'm unsure where we are going with this. Favor, tribute, how easily the language of tyrants tumbles from this Khan's lips. Pretentious and preening he may be, but doubt not that he is a warrior. You saw the axe by his throne, and the rage in his eyes. Oh, so that was an axe, huh? I know, I know. I probably should have left the talking to everyone else. As usual. Diducal, we have not to discuss, woman. I'm taking offense of that. Batu, you will conduct yourself with utmost propriety in Magni's presence, or face consequences. Were I B Buduga, I might take offense. But I know better than to dismiss a woman outright. You demonstrate boldness and recklessness, time will tell. Then Adam approaches, and the Uranir will reign supreme once more. Such is the will of Father Azim. Yet only fools will really triumph by the grace of the gods alone, and we are not fools. Your task will be to aid us in our preparations. Batu will tell us the rest. Okay then. Oh, finally a new dress. It was about time. Oh, classic version. Except it's steel. Not a bad look, but not my color. The sun has spoken, see to your task. I actually like yellow, although that outfit is a little gaudy for my taste. Batu shall tell you how you ser you might serve the Ronir. So if you were a man, would you have talked to the Buduga? Oh. I sound skeptical. Warriors of the Steppe, by the grace of our most radiant brother, you will not die this day, but instead be granted an opportunity to contribute to our cause. Oh, I get it, you would have went to him because Lys was there. Rejoice, for this is great honor indeed. Serve well, and you will be rewarded. Question. You keep calling Magna your most radiant brother. You're not related or something, are you? All Oranir are descendants of Father Azim, but if you mean to ask if our mothers are one and the same, then no. The most radiant is the elder brother, the two younger, the strongest and most deserving of respect. No more interruptions, your duties are as follow. You, the Red Woman, you will milk our beasts. To grow strong, one must be well fed, and we have great need of kumis and cheese. 
Is that it? I mean, I'm not happy about all this, but I suppose I can go along for now. You, the one who lumbers as a mountain. Hmm, an old warrior, I see. We have arms and armor in need of repair. Go and speak with our menders. I have no talent for delicate work, but if that is your wish, then so be it. You, the insolent fool. As for you... This one carries the fire. The Buduga will t would take his measure. Seek my comrade outside tending to the stores. He will give you your task. You will know him by his cloth. Unlike Day of the Yellow, we are of the Green. I, for one, will welcome the opportunity to learn more of the Buduga and their ways. It would be an honor. Sarcasm. We shall speak of your task outside, with me. Let me just check. Okay, my microphone is still fine. Kinda got my arm tugged in the wire. Things being what they are. There's a quest around here. That's what I want to check. Looks like a banner of some sort. Ah, there it is. Well, not really interested in that for now. Oh. Wasn't there a needle right around here? Yes, there was. Hmm. It's very yellow in here. I like that. And my high arm is somehow getting through the giant tusk. Ah. Such is the way of things. Your name, foreigner? Hard then. You are to dive into Azim Khat, below the Dawn Throne, and get our sword grass from the lake bed. It is an invaluable ingredient in many medicines. Eight bundles will you bring. You will need to dive deep to obtain that which you seek, but that shall pose no trouble for a true warrior, no? Some say that the dominion of the Dawn Father and the Dusk Mother does not extend beneath the water, but ours does. Indeed, the Oronir fear not above nor below. Speak with the guard to descend. We shall speak again when you have finished. Okay, that seems simple enough. And yes, do not be worried, we're gonna have a look at the cutscenes, but I figure if we have to go right here, then we might as well get it all over with. Oroniri Spear Sun. Yes, yes, I know who you are. You wish to go below? I sure do. Ah, oh, okay, I think I get it. Ah, oh, interesting. Well, gonna get my new dress all wet. Such is the way of things. Well, let's do this. Hmm. The seabed is interesting here. Why do they call that sword grass, though? I mean, I sort of get the idea, but... Ah, oh, sword grass. So named for its long, narrow shape, this plant thrives in the deep of Azimkat. How about that? Gonna need my chocobo. Oh, there's a sightseeing log here. There's sightseeing on the water? Fortunately, I do not know what it is. Usually, it's lookout. But I figure I'll come back at some point for that. Sight seeing logs are sometimes tied to hours, which made collecting them a little difficult. Especially in the original Realm Reborn. have gone the wrong way, obviously. But there might be some around here. Ah, speak of the devil. It's 
some point I might have to consider changing Midori's color back to green. That would make sense. Or at least more sense than now. But he does look handsome with that armor in white. Yeah, I figured I saw something. Just missing the one. Ah, and I can see it. Thank God for glowy things. Alrighty then. Just gotta get back to the bridge. But that's where the good stuff is. Oh. How the heck am I gonna get out of here? Hey you, Chocobo. Here. Well, actually, I think this is actually an as good time as any to get back to Kugane. Then we can actually teleport back here. Okay, Royan, that's right. Seeing some interesting outfits from this expansion. There's my little pad. I've been messing with the Glamour Glit Dresser here. It's actually really helpful. Used to be that my uh, retainers had their inventory full of just uh, glamour fodder. Now it's not that much of an issue. So we are back at Bardem's Metal. Very colorful. Interesting paintings there. It's one mean looking bird. This kind of makes it worthwhile given the fact that I hadn't gotten a griffin back in the Heavensward Collector Edition. Kind of regret that, but then again, mounts in this aren't quite as big a deal <laughs> as they used to be for me in World of Warcraft. Such are things. Yol whistle. And a new mount. Let's have a look at it. Ah, oh. I'm not seeing it. Are those only favorites? Yo, here it is. Oh, I need to be in a location where I can fly. We could go to Tamamizu. Oh, 
Oh my. That's a majestic beast right there. Huh. And it has that same team that the Mentor Rays had. Interesting. Well, anywho, that's enough of that. Let's get back to the storyline. The Dawn Throne. I'm unsure how far we are we're gonna be able to finish tonight. I would kind of like to finish in 15 minutes, but I figure finishing the zone might be more important. She returns, and with sword grass in hand. That you would immerse yourself in the depths is a testament of your bravery. Well done. Lest you wonder, we will use it to prepare potions to induce paralysis, and in Adam, we must use every means at our disposal to delay our foes. He who inscribe his deeds upon the sacred ground shall be declared a victor. However, none may know this place until the garl have scattered to the soil. Matters not. We shall be swift as stallions and fierce as baras. The steep will be ours once more. Your tribute is accepted. We will return to the most radiant, and you may beg a boon. Huh. That's an interesting bow that guy's got here. At first I thought it was a gun, but it didn't really make sense. What the heck is that? I suppose that's the equivalent of them getting ready to wrestle. That would make sense. Well, let's see his radiance. Yeah. The day I get a sailor to tell me what to do. Then again, I suppose my guildmaster might have been a Xayla at some point. Ah, there you are. The others have yet to return. We have not to discuss, woman. Am I to understand you have completed your tasks? I know not what yours was, but mine was surprisingly simple. They bade me carry various goods and sundries from storehouses to storehouses. Alas, it was difficult to learn much with all the beduga swarming around the, me. You dove deep into the waters to harvest sword grass, I see that as well. Most radiant brother Magni, we have given you tribute as demanded. Were we to beg leave to depart to it with our comrades, will you consent? We never intended you to press you into our service, and tribute offered in good faith cannot be denied. To grant you not in return will be an affront, Father Azim. However, the boon must be proportional to the supplications. What you ask far exceeds what you have earned. Then if we must remain here, would you at least permit us to learn more of your people in your ways? Hmm? Timulun Katun taught me but a fraction, you see? How this world born of the gods was to be their battlefield, their creations to fight in their stead. How oh, Azim, father of the dawn, he who birthed the sun, and Nama, mother of the dusk, she who birthed the moon, made the aura. Yet though these children warred for a time, eventually they laid down their arms and came to love one another. And so the gods bequeathed this world to their children, and ascended to the heavens whence they came. Those born of the Dot Father were called the Ryan, and those born of the Dusk Mother were called the Xela. So it was, and ever after. So yeah, basically the story of the Auras, at least from their point of view. But I say to you, brother Magni, how can this be? How can Oranir be the children of Zim, if they are Xela born of Nama? You amuse me, Doman. How you wield your ignorance as a weapon. Very well. I bid you speak with our elders and learn the truth of this world. Fist bump time. Oh, 
Alrighty then. What do you want? Do you not desire truth? Go for it and find it. For love of the moon. He and them would know more of their captors and their ways. I know what you're thinking, and yes, I could probably have convinced him to let us go had I handled that differently, but then we would have learned not of the four troubles. If there is one thing I know, it is that men of fate yearn to share it with others. And in learning more of their beliefs, we may learn more of other things, things that which may prove useful in the Nadam. When I was carrying out my task, I met an elder, a storyteller, named Udutai. Mayhaps he can be our teacher. I must admit that was weird, that was a question I was asking myself. How could they be children of the sun if they were Xela? That's gonna be the question driving this, is it? Eh. I suppose in the end they're gonna stay friendly. Well, I suppose if we win the Nadam, then it won't matter, will it? Still think horses in this game actually look pretty darn silly. First, they're way too muscular and their ears are so weird. But never mind that. This is the man whom I spoke, Udutai. Hmm, I can spare no time for you. Other troubles demand my attention. What troubles? What ill fortune has befallen you? Not me, but my lambs. Some few wandered far and have yet to return. Mayhap they will return to their mothers in time. Mayhap they will not. Mayhap you can help. If we must, then we must. Let us be about it, Harn. Alrighty. Could be pretty much everywhere. Could they be within the... Uh Stronghold proper? What am I looking for exactly? Because if this has two tier, then it's gonna be difficult. Huh. This guy is wondering why he is training uh, with a bow when he actually wanted to wear a wield a spear. But then again, usually you don't wield the weapon that you want. Either the one that's needed, or the one that's best suited for you. Usually the latter. Aww. Those little livestock are actually pretty cute in this. Which is a little surprising. It seems like the last one is within the stronghold proper. Well, the three last ones. Ugh. This place is rather huge. It's a true castle, it is. What? How the heck did it get here? Can't even get there either. Ah. There we are. Hian seems to have been most, more successful than we were. Here, my pretty. Meep. Meep. Huh, managed to corner two of them then. Where are you, little ones? Your mother is waiting. It's time to come home. I'll leave you to it then. There's the other one. I must admit, chasing livestock isn't exactly my idea of a main quest. But what do I know? 
Could they be inside the stronghold? Could be. Feels unlikely though. Wanna bet it's on the con's head? No, it's not. Ah. Well, by changing my perspective, I might see something that I've missed. Nope. Kind of seem pointless, but uh, I don't really see any other way to actually find these. Well, okay. We figured out that one. Now it's a matter of looking around here and see what we can find. Could be behind the house. If I was a developer, I might actually put it there. Can I actually enter those? No, I cannot. Oh, Eater Current. Aha! All right, enough of this nonsense. All right, that's it for the Falcon Porter. Ah, oh. Sheep Snatcher. Is that for a Beast Tribe quest or is it for one of those, uh, what was their name? Eater Currents. Greetings. I trust that uh, all of our little explorers are safely accounted for. Ah, oh, so that's what an old sailor looks like, huh? That they are. My thanks to you, Doman. Now, you had questions for me. I, I wouldn't know more of the Oranir, or their creation, and their father Azim. As you wish. Come, let us sit. Before we begin, tell me, what do you know of the Aura, and how they came to be? Of course the mute person isn't gonna tell. Ah. Rorin were born of the Dawnfather, and Ixail of the Duskmother. Yes, yes, a common tale, and one believed by many tribes. But what it does not mention is this, Azim and Nama were lovers. Huh? Oh, they fought in the beginning, as did their creations, that much is true. But when they saw how Dixela and Ryan rose above their hatreds and joined hands in harmony, their hearts stirred, and the love their children shared became theirs as well. Alas, he was of the sun, and she of the moon, apart they must remain, lest day and night cease to be, and with them all creation. With sadness in their hearts, they returned to the heavens, he to the day, she to the night, distant to walk before and after, never to meet. That is actually a fairly basic uh, understanding of myth. Usually people recognize things like the moon and sun as gods. This kind of rhetoric is actually not unheard of. As time passed, Azim's yearning for his beloved grew deeper still. Was there truly not could that could be done, he wondered. At last, he knew. If the father cannot be with the mother, then he shall go among her children, now and ever after. So it was that Azim took a fragment of his being, and with it fashioned an avatar, clad in scale of midnight, 
he descended in Salar Duxela. Yeah, he was the first Oranir. We are of his flesh and his blood. We are the children of his Eam, and it is our duty to watch over and keep Duxela safe. So in the end, the sun leads the moon people. Huh. I confess I did not expect the tale of your people's beginnings to be quite so romantic. Yet I must ask, if it is your duty to defend Ixela, how can you go to war with them and then Adam? Is that not a contradiction? If a father disciplines his son, does that mean there is no love in his heart? Ixela are not wont to kneel. They must be made to. Only then will they heed reason. I see, such is the way of the step. Looks like he has a mustache, except it scales. Thank you, Elder, for sharing with us your wisdom. Eager to depart? There you go, you would do well to hear the end of my tale. When Nama looked down and saw the avatar of Azim, she knew him at once and shed tears of love and longing. When they struck the earth, they rose anew as a counterpart to the Oranir, their fates entwined. So you see, for every son of Azim is a daughter of Nama, for whom he must search, even now. Huh. That is strange. What are the implications of this? Come again, traveler. There are tales to be told, songs to be sung. Mayhap I am being overly optimistic, but I sense that these Oranir may prove loyal allies to Doma under the right circumstances. Their arrogance is rooted in the belief that they must act as caretakers of all Xela. Therefore, if we can prove to them that we come as kindred spirits, seeking to defeat a common foe... But mayhap this is a distraction, uh, a discussion, for after we win the Adam, come, let us return to Magni. I'm not seeing us getting any closer to an Adam yet. Getting the feeling that we won't finish this in this actual particular stream. Not at this speed, anyway. A Budugan will give quest to a lady. Not bloody lightly, but he will. Okay, for a second I thought that was a mount, but it's just Titan Eggy. Ah. Eggies are actually fragments of primals summoned by summoners, because their actual primals actually devour Eater and they can do that. You're back! They had me milking sheep, by the way. It was, um, interesting. I can't see you doing that very well. At a glance, their arms and armor may seem crude compared to those of Doma, but they are well crafted and low less effective. Another task completed, eh? I wonder what the most radiant brother has in store for us next. Hmm, you shine with the light of newfound wisdom. Could it be that you have at least accepted the supremacy of the sun? No matter. You have each completed your task and proven yourself deserving of mercy. However, if it is freedom you desire, then there is one more thing you must do. As usual. Well, off with it then. Sworn enemies of the sun. Magna is a new task in mind for you and yours. A pity you will not pledge yourselves to the sun. You might have proved useful in the coming Nadam. Nevertheless, I will permit you to return and fight for them all. Their cause is futile, with or without your assistance. However, you must first complete the final task, as was my decree. You will re reconnoiter the encampment of the Dotarl. For this task, two will go, and two will remain. Should the two who embark upon this expedition choose to flee, or be captured or killed by the Dotarl, then the others will be taken as slaves and serve under the sun unto death. We'd better not fail then, eh? The question is, who should we send? This is not for you to decide. 
All of you have conquered Bardem's medal and proven yourselves warriors of the steppe. You should all be equally capable of carrying out this task, and therefore you should have no objections. You know what would be funny? They don't send us and we have to sit through a cutscene. Huh? I don't get what's going on. Brother Magni, a word! The Buduga require that the hostage be male, for if one of these fail, we cannot accept a woman as a slave. Therefore, we choose the Firewalker, the one they call Heian. So be it, I shall choose a second. I don't either of you are the moon I seek, but stranger tales have been told, and men are of no use to me. I don't know what this moon stuff is that he's talking about, but I don't like the sound of it at all. No, of course not. The woman I seek is of the dusk, a gentle ethereal maiden, a dancer in the morning mist. You are warriors of the steppe, fierce and brutal, conquerors of magic, stone and steel. Ethereal you are not. You try ethereally chasing after lambs when your boots are full of lake water. What the heck? <laughs> ah, how well your task befitted you both. But since I must choose, I choose you. You did well milking the sheep. They took a liking to you, I'm told. Seriously? It was that and hard then. I had hoped to see these undying ones for myself, but it seems that it was not meant to be. The Tarl Ka lies far to the south, where the grass turns to sand. Return with valuable knowledge, and all will be free to rejoin the mall. Now go. Well, at least they'll get time to chat, higher to here as it is. Have no fear, my friend. We shall see them freed soon enough. Let us quit this place and speak of our plans outside. This whole thing is nonsensical. But oh well, still better than uh, Yanxia. You wonder why I chose her instead of you. There is violence in you both. Hers is untamed, yours is owned. She cannot be trusted. Huh. That is interesting. He appears to be a good judge of character, surprisingly. Anywho. This plane they hoped we will never return. I shall enjoy disappointing them. According to my map, there is a colossal wreck to the south, which should provide a vantage point from which to survey Dotarl Ka from afar. Let us go and do just that. Alright, you're the boss. Ah, uh, vantage point. Aha. Going to a reunion would actually be faster, I think. Let's do that. Hearing strange music around. Better. Uh. Oh, I think I understand why we couldn't use that bird uh, back in the city. You actually can't ride mounts in cities. I forget. I'm so used to World of Warcraft, what we do giant mounts everywhere. Ah, men to mangas. Huh, strange name. But then again, uh, the translators appear to be a little tongue-in-cheek in this. Probably don't have as much on the, the Japanese version. Although, this series can be surprising at times. At some point I should really check uh, some of the more recent ones to actually get up to speed. 
Because sometimes I might not be getting some of the jokes and references that we are getting. Although primals in this one are pretty much all new, so there's not much point in that. And I'm nearly level 68. Nice. So vantage point. Hmm. Starting to have doubts. Oh no, I think we'll be fine. I was wondering whether there was actually a path that only led there from the Dawn Throne. But that doesn't seem to be the case. The Dusk Throne. I spy tents to the west. There's, I presume. What do you see? I see a camp that looks like something straight out of World of Warcraft. Ogre camp, or a Wastewander, perhaps. Slash lookout. Over an arrow! Look! Those men are in danger! Oh my god! Those are Bigfoots! Or... Yeah, too late for the, for the one. Perhaps there is yet time to save the other. Come! We cannot abandon him to his fate! I see where this is going. We'll be getting chummy with the... with the... the Dotharl. It's a man's Asiri. Huh. Well, they use the Yeti model, that's for sure. I actually have a tiny one as a pet. Not that this is worth much. Oh, hi there, Gosetsu. What are you doing? These ones are mine. Go help them in. Oh. Either current. All right, hon. I've got ya. Oh, three of them. Owie. Railing Mansari. Character in this is so overpowered. Those three giant beasts are pretty much the equivalent of fighting three Rancors at once. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Rancors are a little bigger than that. There. Hey, you. They have healing magic, magic you know, if you're wounded. <sighs> I, I owe you my life. Nay, hey friend, take nothing of it. I but wish we had come sooner. I knew at once he was dead. It will come as scant comfort, I fear, but I slew the beast responsible. Nay, that is uh, that is no way for a Dotharl to die. What is this? Who are these outsiders? Why am I not surprised? Then again, we saw her on the uh, quest uh, thumbnail. Sadu Katun, forgive me. We were returning from our hunt when we were caught unawares by a Ma Manzaris series. This one saved me, but guess her is. Hmm. You know, she has a nice staff. Who are you? Why have you come? Not to cross the sands, that much is certain. I have heard tales of travelers in league with another tribe. Are you they? Who do you serve? Answer me. If I may begin to answer your questions before you ask more, we are friends of the Mole, and we are come to see the strength of the Daratarl for ourselves. 
The mall? The lambs who wander to and fro at the behest of their gods? <laughs> what fools you are to share the soil of such weaklings. Next you will tell me you wish to fight in the, in the Nadan. Ah, so you do. Ha, huh, that is unexpected, yet not unwelcome. I am Sadu, Katun of the Dotharl. For your deeds, I grant you leave to walk among us. Come, look on our glory in despair. We fear no tribe, least of all the mole. Though, if you were of the Oronir, I would burn you the flesh from your bones here and now. You can stand, yes. See to the corpse. Yes, Katun. So, is that a traditional Xayla outfit then? Looks very similar to what we had in Alamigo. Thank you again, but I shall manage on my own. So that is the leader of the Dotharl, clearly not a woman to be crossed. But how callously she spoke of her dead. See to the corpse? Surely this warrior deserves better than that. I don't know, man. So, new gloves. Gosetsu is brimming with indignation. Forgive me, Hard, but I cannot in good conscience ignore the callous disregard that woman showed to for her kinsman. We must seek her out at once, with me. Ah, uh, you're the boss. Seeing some fire aspected Anala, as well as some Gulo Gulo. The Tarly Warrior. Blah, they are sand in my mouth. I have no idea how my previous self was able to put up with this work. He probably didn't. Coco. That's an odd name. There she is. Who's she? Greetings, travelers. You have nothing to fear here. That is assuming you bear us no ill will. Is there something you would ask of me? What do you do here? I keep watch for beasts and members of other tribes. Those that would do us harm. The previous core, Corrigin, did, did the same. It only stands to reason I continue my duties in this life. However, there is one thing I do not enjoy about this post. The Dawn Throne. I am forced to gaze upon it day in and day out. I was killed in a past life by the Oronir scum that dwelled there. What kind of place is this? This is the settlement we Dotharl built to, uh, around the uh, spring. Its waters provide for a boat for us and the sheep we rear. As you have uh, doubtless noticed, water is scarce in the Nama Desert. Precisely why this is such a prized spot, we cannot relinquish it to the other tribes. Not that I imagine any would be foolish enough to try and take it from us. Dotharl do not fear death. We are ever ready to do battle. Women seems preeminent in this tribe. How he died matters not. Gesser was a great warrior. He will return to us in time. Not soon enough, Hartun. The Nardom is nearly upon us. Mayhap we should counsel restraint until after. I do not understand. If Gesser is dead, how should he return? Silence! You come to spy on us, knowing naught of our ways. We know you are fearless, and that you are called the Undying Ones. That is true. None are braver than the Dothal, for we do not fear death. With death, a warrior must dance boldly, fearlessly, for thus does his soul burn bright. Then, in death, his soul shines white, exalted. The flesh rots, but the soul endures. And ere the seasons have turned, so he shall return. Hmm. That's an interesting voice she's when got there. When he is glimpsed in the eyes of a newborn, he is blessed with the same name, that he may grow into a great warrior once more. You mean 
to tell me these newborn babes and fallen warriors are one and the same? Madness! Good job. I gave you leave to observe, not to insult our beliefs. Have care what you say. Otherwise, do as you will. Well, that went well. Rather interesting palettes of skin we've got there. Well, that could have gone better. Such contempt as was in their eyes I have never known. But for the soul to live on, as they say, is not something I can so easily accept. Do they truly believe this? All of them? That in death there can be rebirth? Retribution? In any event, we came to here in search of information. We cannot leave without speaking with our people. Ah, oh, there's our pal Coco. I know you. Reunion. The travelers with the mole girl. I marked you after I left the Oroneer. Once from Doma, others I could not place. My name is Coco. Welcome to Dotarl Ka. Hmm? Coco sounds to your ear the name of a woman. Well, of course. That would be because it is. I died a woman, and was reborn a man. It is of no of no moment. The soul is the soul, and the flesh is the flesh. Perhaps you scoff, many would. Many look only to the name and the flesh, and let these things dictate their perceptions. Consider Sadu Katun. Three times before she died a man, yet she returns a woman to the, the fort. Yet she is no less fierce, and any outsider foolish enough to think so will learn the truth of their to their peril. Hmm. That is interesting. Uh, that is to say, then, that death is essentially meaningless. I don't think that's the gist of it. Koya. The cycle of death and rebirth, it is simply that. Take me. I died in battle with the Otgo. Fiercely did I fight, and so I returned. Alas, we know not of our past lives. I must learn what it means to be Koyar again and again. It is difficult to remember everything, but important. Huh. Hood rat. Huh. Mergen. Impressive, is it not? Twas slain by my boy. We were childhood friends, he and I, before he fell and returned. Master of the bow, it is good to see that he retains his skills. That would be weird. I mean, you've got your friend that came back who's much younger than you now? Turning from friend to caretaker the day after. Although I suppose they are not exactly the same person. Ah, Ard, you have completed your inquiries. Aye, it is as she said. They believe with every fiber of their being that their bravest warriors will be reborn. As for me, I observe some of their warriors at practice. They are as formidable as the Oroneer, perhaps more, and their weapons are their equal as well. Yet while they do not lack this in skill and resources, it is plain to see that their numbers are inferior. Eh. Comes down to the old calculus of war, eh? Gosetsu has been given much to consider. This has been an educational experience, to say the least. Yet everything we have learned is common knowledge to the people of this step. It will not be enough to earn our comrades their freedom. Not less than the Tataro's plan for the Nadam will suffice, I fear. It could be troublesome. 
Well, I have never been one for skulking about. I will go to Sadu and see what secrets I can prize from her lips. Oh, that's what you're gonna do? Didn't know you had it in you, uh, Gosetsu. I'm being less than PG-13 tonight. Oh well, I suppose I've done worse. Spies return, and they have learned not. Mayhap so, but no longer. Though you hide it well, I know you have devised some manner of cunning stratagem for an atom. Out with it, I say. We are what you see, Doman. We are Dotarl. Others rely on tricks and traps, subterfuge, lies. We have need of naught but our own strength. We meet the enemy in battle and kill him. That is why I cared not what you did from the first. There is not for you to learn. Tell your masters to meet us on the field and make ready to ride with their ancestors. Your confidence is plain, as is your strength. Yet you are not the most prosperous of tribes. The mall you mock are few, but so too are you. Why? Ah, hit a chord there. Though a glorious death is to be celebrated, it is yet death. While we kill many, many are killed in turn. In the wake of our battles, the soil drink deep of the blood of the fallen, their bodies piled high. Not all are born again, only the bravest, yet one cannot return unless there is a vessel to inherit the soul, and if warriors die ere their birth children, then that is that. Even the, warrior, the brave warrior who finds a vessel will for many years remain a shadow of his former self. Falls to his elders to endure until he is ready to accept his responsibilities. Ever will we meet our enemies in battle without fear. Such is our way. Even when our numbers dwindle, if we die, so be it. But know that we fight to live, not to die. Not all train and make ready for the day, but they do not rush to meet it. Not until we have done our duty. Sadu Katun, Gesser's body has been given to the sands. Then our part is done. Rest, warrior. Then autumn draws near, and you will need your strength. If you intend to fight in the autumn, you should return to the mall and make ready. But know that when next we meet, you and yours will die. Or you could fight for us and live. Think on it, travelers. We shall, but if you would permit me the final question ere we part, where is this place that Gesser has been laid to rest? Though I knew him not, I was there at his end. I wish to say a few words. Rights for the flesh? I've heard of this. Madness, I say. For his body is of the earth now. He will not hear you. But you may speak to the sands, if that is your will. They lie to the west. Make haste. For the Gedan may have already have caught his tent. <coughs> Sorry. My apologies, Harn. This will take but a moment. Well. Return to your mole and die with them if that be your wish. But where's the ones in yellow as you go? They are fond of secrets and stratagems, and will not hesitate to involve you. Well, suppose once that is done, we'll be ready for an atom. Never a dull moment. Get on Corpse Stealer. Going high with those numbers this time around. Well, fine with me.
Oh well. Doesn't look so much like sand as stone. Left for the vultures. It seems an insult to the man. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. Pardon me? When first I heard the tales, I could not help but scoff. Another queer tribe, I thought, with still queerer customs. Yet having borne witness to their rights, I cannot deny there is a certain logic to it all. A samurai will die for his lord without hesitation or regret. But this is not because he delights in such sacrifice. It is because he has faith that his death will serve a higher purpose. There is an awakening in that instant. When the heart sings, and the blood burns, and his soul... His soul finds peace. There is comfort in that. Of course. We dare not permit ourselves that luxury, my friend, tempting though it may be. Not while our loved ones yet remain in chains. Ah, rogue and bonding. Well, this is done. Well then, we must all be on our way, even Gezer. Let us return to the Dawn Throne, and pray that our tale is enough to satisfy our most radiant Taskmaster. And I get some new shoes. Meanwhile, deep within the Dawn Throne... Prison then. Comforting. Well, if there is a way out, I can't see it. Shame we didn't learn much before they locked us up. Tis little wonder the Oranir won the last Nardum. These people leave naught to chance. Hien, I've had something on my mind for a while, and now... In Alamigo, where I was born, I found it strange that for all the people who supported the Resistance, there were just as many who didn't. But then we came to this part of the world and met with the Confederacy and lots of ordinary domains, and almost every single one of them seemed content to just put up with things, no matter how bad they got. They, they all had their reasons, of course, and, and it's not like I don't understand them, but... The thought of it made me so... angry. After everything they'd been through, everything the Empire had done to them, 
How could they not rise up? How could they not fight back? People are pragmatic creatures at heart. They hold on to hope only until they taste true hardship. Then comes fear and regret. Safer not to dream, they conclude at last. For even should a day go by without some new disappointment, the next will only bring more of the same. And so they choose the more sensible option. They learn to abide the indignities and injustices, the pain and the shame, to accept them as normal. Such is the lot of most men. One cannot expect to spur them to action at a moment's notice. But if one who has known their pain can convince them to strive for something greater and rekindle the fire in their hearts. Then they will remember what they have lost and they will rise. I had someone like that once. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be and he risked his life to show me the way. Then honor him by doing the same for others, with all your might and main. You know, when my homeland fell 25 years past, I was still in my mother's womb. Never have I known a free Doma. But my father did as did many of my fallen comrades, as do many of my people now. It may be no more than a dream to me, but if I do not chase it, then who will? The way you carry it all, you're just the same. Hmm? As you? Oh, no. Not me. Definitely not me. I meant the warrior of light. Out there, somewhere. Doing what needs to be done. I won't have you put me to shame any longer. I'm going to seize the future I want with my own two hands. Ah, uh, character development time. This game can get preachy at times, I suppose. Gosetsu has seen enough of Dotaro Ka. You are ready to depart, I trust. Good, then let us away. I got boots. We're getting somewhere. Nowhere pleasant, but they were getting somewhere. Back to the Dawn Throne. We are going over time, but I would at least uh, have us return to the Mall Village. It is possible that we might be able to take the Falcon Porter back there. But first, go see the dude on his big chair. Now that's where the important peoples are. All that you have seen and heard, your knowledge, I would have it. No secret stratagems, you say? That is well, I expected as much. The Dotarl are not schemers, they live only for war. For the consensus of strength and will, they are fierce, aye, and to face one is to court death. Meet us on the field and make ready to ride with your ancestors, 
Shots were the word of the their Katum, Sadu. Speak not that devil's name in the presence of the most radiant. You bade us to tell you of the Tataro, yet you will not hear the name of their leader. After the last Nadam, she gave great offense. The most radiant brother called to him, the woman of the steppe, that he might look into their eyes and see if Nama looked back. But that Gedan, that farewell Udgant, she spat curses and called forth flames, she scorched the soil and refused to present herself. Three days and nights had we fought to claim the Dawn Throne, and still she shows Brother Magni such a disrespect, such defiance. By rights, should she pay with her life? Speak not another word, Batu, or you will pay with yours. Her words are air, as the domans say. However, they are proof of your service to the sun. Go and fetch the others from their cells. Luskela seems to like dyeing their hairs, especially in weird colors. Female here model always seemed a little strange to me. My lord, Lise, are you unarmed? Thanks to you and Harn, we are free to return to Mol Elo, I take it. By your deeds have you proven yourselves to be warriors brave and true. You may return to the Mole and make ready for an Adam on one condition. To fight in the Adam is to be bound by it, swear here and now, to ad abide by the law of the step. To accept the supreme authority of the Kagan, whomever it may be. We swear. He's so certain he's gonna win. Ha! <laughs> well, I have something to teach you, and you're not gonna like it. A few stone four to the face will. Uh, Put everybody back into shape. In a way, being forced to stay behind may actually have been a good thing. I had a lot of time to think, and usually I don't. And that little head of yours. Let us not be too quick to count our blessings. We must still win the Nadam. Well done, my friends. I knew you would not fail. I should be glad to hear of your experience with the Datarl, but as time is of the essence, let us converse en route. Come, come, Sirena and the others are waiting. Alrighty then. That porter is right over here. We take it all the way back to Molhilo. We don't usually use these porters very often. Except maybe early within the game when you don't have an actual mount. Good morrow to you, madam. Do you wish to hire a falcon porter? Yes, I do. To Mol Elo. One minute waiting time. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, flying uh, mounts weren't a thing until Evan's word. So yeah. Before you actually had to ride a chocobo and wait for it to get to uh, two places on ground. That falcon is interesting though. Must be using the same basic model as those uh, birds you got from the warring tri triads. Or triads. Yeah. My Canadian French keep uh, getting true. Yeah. Oh well, no matter. There is a tension in the air, an awareness of the coming storm, a nervousness, aye, but a confidence as well. Fate, perchance. Though our journey home was rather more roundabout than I had anticipated, it was also more ed ed educational. I think it's safe to say we are better prepared for the experience. It's almost time for the Nadam. I'm so excited. 
Today's enemies are tomorrow's allies. Remember this. Thank the gods you're alright. When you fail to return, I fear the worst. But here you are, hail and whole, and you survived Bardem's medal. Lest as are we to have you as allies, with your strength, we may have a chance. Sure hope so. Huh. Interesting helmets we have there. The Nadam is dying, and Serena will have you make your final preparations. My friends, we are come to the final day of the Tsaga Natsar, to the Nadam. The battle will commence with the rising of the sun, the girl will scatter the soil, and the steppe will be unbound. A great ovo will erupt from the earth, and call for a new Kagan. All will converge upon the light, and the warrior who claim it will win the day. Precious little time remains, pray use it to prepare for the battle. I suppose that the fastest runner doesn't get to be the Kagan, huh? Many of the young ones have never taken part in an autumn. They are nervous, perhaps you might favor them with a few words. It would do much to ease their fears. Well, that is what I will do. If you had come in later, we would have had to, uh, to fight by ourselves. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, maybe follow the stream. Maybe leave a comment if you're on YouTube. And with that, that was the Great Pumpkin. Y'all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.